Hey, hey everyone, Organic Keys here. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Now, I am super geeked about doing this video right now because it is a video response to someone who asked me for my advice. I am so thankful that you guys feel like you can write me and ask me for my advice or feel like my advice is somehow helpful. Praise Jesus. If you ever want my advice on anything, feel free to hit me up through YouTube. I'll put my Gmail on the screen. You can hit me up through Gmail or on any of my social media platforms. All my handles will be down in the video description box. So if you ever want to ask me a question or want my advice on something, please feel free to hit me up. Now, I need to hurry up and do this before my camera dies, so I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly. So one of my subscribers hit me up through Instagram and she wants to be anonymous. So I'm gonna leave her name out of this, but this is basically the scenario. All right, she said, hello, my name is such and such and I am 18 years old. I am a faithful viewer, subscriber of your channel. Bless my heart. Your videos bless me as they are very relatable and you always give amazing advice. I thought that was so sweet. That is why I'm coming to you for advice. I met this guy at church and he's amazing and everything I want in a guy. The biggest problem is his age. He is 28 years old, making him 10 years older than me. We didn't know each other's age when exchanging numbers and didn't think anything of it. We don't look the age that we are and if we had known of the age gap prior, we wouldn't have exchanged numbers and be in the situation now. My discernment for people is great and I don't see him as a threat to my life. I've actually prayed about it multiple times and I'm completely comfortable with our situation. But I know my family won't be. How do I break the news to him and should we continue to build towards a relationship? Thank you very much. All right, love. Okay, so this is the situation. So, right, she's 18, he's 28. Is this an issue? How does she break it to him? So her parents don't know or her family doesn't know about it, clearly. They're probably not gonna approve, so there's a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, first off, let me just say that I personally, this is, you know, mine opinion, mine no opinion. I don't think that there's anything wrong with an age gap of 10 years. Now, I think that um, it just depends on the type of person you are. If you are very mature for your age, I think that it's fine. Um, I was always wiser than my years, so a 10 years was never an issue to me. Honestly, 10 years now is like ideal. <laughs> I'm 26 right now and I, I could easily see myself with somebody who's 36. I could easily see myself with somebody who's 40 because of the maturity level that I'm at in my life. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with the age gap as long as you both can respect each other, um, you both can see where each other is coming from and you're able to coexist one with one another. I don't think there's an issue with the age gap. You have to be with that person, nobody else does. So ultimately it has to be okay with you. And then also being that you're 18 years old, you are of legal age as an adult. Now granted that is an American thing. <laughs> if you were born culturalized, um, especially from an island, no matter how old you are, you ain't grown. So I'm not saying that 18 is like, mentally aware enough to make big decisions but what I'm saying is that in the eyes of this country you are an adult so ultimately you can make this decision based on how you feel in a perfect world now if you do respect your parents and your family I think it's very important that you talk to them about it because you don't know necessarily what they're gonna say you feel like they might not approve and they might not approve but you won't know until you tell them about it you also said that you prayed and your discernment is pretty good and I feel you on that and I'm glad that you feel like your discernment is strong but I think that it's very important to get a second opinion other than your own because when we're in certain situations like this um, we are very emotionally invested in the person as much as we want to be objective we cannot help ourselves but be emotionally invested we start hearing things and I can tell you a quick testimony for myself not really a test it's a testimony because I'm out of it but there was a time in my life where um, I felt strongly that somebody was gonna be my husband and I think I might have shared this on YouTube maybe I can't remember but I felt strongly that somebody was gonna be my husband and I, I heard literally felt like I heard God tell me this person was gonna be my husband at the time the person was in a relationship with somebody else but for whatever reason I felt like I literally 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 heard God tell me that he was gonna be my husband granted I was wrong I was <laughs> Like I couldn't even express how wrong I was, but because I was emotionally invested in the person, you start to feel like you're hearing things. You start to see confirmation everywhere because you're emotionally invested. And sometimes the enemy likes to prey on you when you're in that situation, make you think that you're hearing things, make you feel okay with things that ultimately God is probably not okay with. So I think it's always important to get somebody else's opinion, somebody that you can trust, somebody who has a strong relationship with God, a strong sense of hearing from God, 
to really look from an unbiased standpoint at your situation to make sure this person is somebody that you should be delving into a relationship with. If you feel like you can't talk to your parents just yet, talk to your pastor, talk to somebody in your church, a woman of God that you know has a relationship with God. I should caution you to make sure that you talk to somebody who actually has a relationship with God because who would eat from a tree that bears bad fruit? nobody so don't be going to uh baby and them who ain't never been in a certain relationship speak to somebody who can have discernment i think it's so important to have unbiased opinions especially when it comes to matters of the heart because we can be super emotionally invested into something that we're not really able to see reason for ourselves so definitely get an unbiased opinion on it which is i guess technically me but i don't know you personally so i can't say yes he's a great guy or no so find somebody who knows you both um who can give you an unbiased opinion on whether or not they feel like god is is leading you in that way um, also I think that it's very important to talk to your family you might feel like they might not be for it but they might shock you and be for it because they know him and they probably think he's a great guy or they can get to know him and see that he's a great guy so talk to them about it I think it's very important especially if you're living with your parents or you have a good relationship with your parents don't sabotage that for anybody and I don't believe that God would want you to sabotage your relationship with your parents for a man and I don't think that you should necessarily throw this man away maybe this is just not the right timing for you guys if it does come push come to shove in your family is just not for it um doesn't mean that it can't be later i just don't see the point of ending things just yet until you talk to your family see what they feel but um yeah so there's really nothing to break to him just yet uh i think that you should take it slow you both know about the age gap now if he's okay with it and you're okay with it i think that's great i think it really just falls back on to what your parents have to say about it if they are totally against it i am a proponent of keeping your relationship with your parents open so um you might have to fall back it just depends it just depends if your parents really love you and they really care about you and they want the best for you they're not just saying no because no sake but they care about you and they really feel you can trust their spirit to lead you in the right direction i would say absolutely listen to your parents if they're not really involved i would lean more on the wisdom of somebody that you can trust spiritually but ultimately um i don't think there's anything wrong with the age difference personally um, i'm all the way here for it you are kind of young though 18 is is, is fairly young um there's a lot of growing up to do and all that stuff and so and he's old you know he's older and he is in a prime of his life where he's probably ready to settle down and things like that so make sure that's something that is common between you two um you might find out that you know he's ready to settle down and you're not and then it kind of just negates everything first speak to your parents if your parents approve make sure this man and you are in the same mental place as far as what you guys want from life right now that he truly is who God has for you you've sought an unbiased opinion to continue in this relationship because somebody else has told you or confirmed to your spirit because God is not gonna do anything without confirming it so make sure somebody confirms that yes this guy is a good guy for you you should um, let this man pursue you you should get into a courtship or a relationship with this person make sure you have that unbiased confirmation and um, you know just be guarded be, be careful don't fall too deep too fast um, just pace yourself make sure you're hearing from God because the last thing you want to do is be completely invested in somebody that's not for you. It, it could be difficult with the age difference, but I believe that if you're a mature person and you're of legal age, I don't see the problem with it. I mean, there's 18 year olds that are much wiser than 30 year olds. So, I mean, I don't see the diff. I don't see the big deal with the age difference, but please listen to your parents. Uh, listen to your parents. Anybody else who's going through something like this, listen to your parents, especially if they love you, they care about you. Don't just throw their advice away. Don't just be like, oh, they're just my mom, they're my dad. They just don't want me to be great. No, listen to them because they have a lot of wisdom. They've been through a lot of the things that we go we're going through. And so you should definitely listen to your parents. But I hope this is helpful. I feel like I'm all over the place. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, glory be to God. For all of my viewers that are watching, if you have advice for her, please leave it down in the comments below. Be respectful, okay? Uh, please. But leave it in the comments below and, you know, share with her what you think she should do as well. And yeah. I'm gonna go before my camera just cuts off on me so I'll see you guys on the next video remember to like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel I don't know what you're waiting for go ahead and click that subscribe button so we become family also if you would like to follow me all my social media handles will be down below in the video description box and I will see you guys on the next one bye y'all I don't know if you know this but beautiful things don't need attention